Do you know vitamin C play a vital role in immune system? There are many benefits of vitamin C. Hello friends. Welcome to So let us know about top 7 spectacular benefits vitamin C. Vitamin C is a very important wow. sustenance, which means your body can't manufacture it. Yet, it's several roles and has been connected to spectacular health edges. It's soluble and settled in several fruits and vegetables, including oranges, strawberries, kiwi, bell peppers, broccoli, kale, and spinach. The recommended daily intake for vitamin C is 75 mg for women and 90 mg for men. While it's wow. unremarkably suggested to urge your vitamin C intake from foods, several people address supplements to satisfy their need. Here's 7 spectacular, scientifically benefits of taking a vitamin C supplement. Number 1. Could help manage high blood pressure. Approximately one third of American adults have high blood pressure. High blood pressure, puts you in risk of heart disease, the leading cause for death. Aww. Studies have shown that vitamin C could facilitate lower blood pressure in both those with and without high blood pressure. A study found that taking wow. a vitamin C supplement helped relax the blood vessels that carry blood from the center, that helped reduce blood pressure levels. In a study, people who take vitamin C are found with decreased blood pressure that is 29% has less systolic blood pressure, the upper value, by 3.8 mm of mercury and diastolic blood pressure, the lower value, by 1.5 mm of mercury, on average, in healthy adults. In adults with high blood pressure, vitamin C supplements reduced systolic blood pressure by 4.9 mm of mercury and diastolic blood pressure by 1.7 mm of mercury, on average. Moreover, folks with high blood pressure should not believe vitamin C alone for treatment. Number 2. Could lower your risk of heart disease. Heart disease is that the leading cause for death worldwide. Many factors increase the danger of heart disease, as well as high blood pressure, high triglyceride or LDL, bad, cholesterol levels, and low levels of HDL, good, cholesterol. Vitamin C could facilitate reduce these risk factors, which might reduce heart disease risk. Analysis of 13 studies tested, the results of taking a minimum of 500 mg of vitamin C daily on risk factors for heart disease, like blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels. The analysis found that taking a vitamin C supplement considerably reduced LDL, bad, cholesterol by roughly 7.9 mg per deciliter and blood triglycerides by 20.1 mg per deciliter. In short, it looks that taking a minimum of 500 mg of vitamin C daily could reduce the danger of heart disease. However, if you wow. already consume a vitamin C-rich diet, then supplements may not offer further heart health edges. Vitamin C supplements have been connected to a reduced risk of heart disease. These supplements could lower heart disease risk factors, as well as high blood levels of LDL, bad, cholesterol and triglycerides. Number 3 could reduce your risk of chronic illness. Vitamin C is also a strong inhibitor which is able to strengthen your body's natural refenses. Antioxidants are molecules that boost the system, they're doing therefore by protective cells from harmful molecules referred to as free radicals. When free radicals accumulate, they'll promote a state remarked as oxidative stress, that has been connected to many chronic diseases. Studies show that intake of, a lot of vitamin C will increase your blood inhibitor levels by up to half hour. This helps the body's natural defenses fight inflammation. Vitamin C is also a robust inhibitor which is able to boost your blood inhibitor levels. This would possibly facilitate reduce the danger of chronic diseases like heart disease. Number 4. Could reduce blood uric acid levels and help prevent gout attacks. Wow. Gout is also a form of inflammatory disease that affects roughly 4% of American adults. It's unbelievably painful and involves inflammation of the joints, particularly those of the massive toes. Gout experience swelling and sudden, severe attacks of pain. Gout symptoms seem once there is too much uric acid in the blood. Uric acid is also a waste made by the body. At high levels, it's aiming to crystallize and deposit inside the joints. Interestingly, 
Many studies have shown that vitamin C could facilitate reduce uric acid inside the blood and, as a result, shield against gout attacks. Taking a vitamin C supplement over 30 days considerably reduced blood acid, compared with a drug. While there seems to be a strong link between vitamin C intake and uric acid levels, a lot of studies on the results of vitamin C on gout are needed. Vitamin C rich foods and supplements are connected to reduced blood acid levels and lower risk of gout. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, like, share and comment on this channel for more interesting videos. Number 5. Protects your memory and thinking as you age. Dementia is also a broad wow. term used to describe symptoms of poor thinking and memory. It affects millions of folks worldwide and usually happens among older adults. Studies recommend that oxidative stress and inflammation close to the brain, spine, and nerves, all together remarked because the central nervous system, will increase the danger of dementia. Vitamin C is also a strong antioxidant. Low levels of this is connected to impaired ability to think and remember. Moreover, many studies have shown that people with dementia could have lower blood levels of vitamin C. Furthermore, high vitamin C intake from food or supplements has been shown to possess a protecting effect on thinking and memory as you age. Number 6. Helps stop iron deficiency. Iron could be a crucial nutrient that variety of functions inside the body. It's essential for making red blood cells and transporting oxygen throughout the body. Vitamin C supplements will facilitate improve the absorption of iron from the diet. Vitamin C assists in changing iron that is poorly absorbed, like plant-based sources of iron, into a form that is easier to take in. This is particularly helpful for people on a meat-free diet, as meat is also a major source of iron. In fact, merely intense 100 mg of vitamin C could improve iron absorption by 67. As a result, vitamin C could facilitate reduce the danger of anemia among people at risk of iron deficiency. In one study, 65 kids with gentle iron deficiency anemia got a vitamin C supplement. Researchers found that the supplement alone helped management their anemia. If you've low iron levels, intense a lot of vitamin C rich foods or taking a vitamin C supplement could facilitate improve your blood iron levels. Vitamin C will improve the absorption of iron that is poorly absorbed, like iron from meat-free sources. It's aiming to additionally reduce the danger of iron deficiency. And the last but the least is. Number 7. Boosts immunity. One of the foremost reasons people take vitamin C supplements is to boost their immunity, as vitamin C is involved in several parts of the immune system. First, vitamin C helps encourage the assembly of white blood cells remarked as lymphocytes and phagocytes, that facilitate shield the body against infection. Second, vitamin C helps these white blood cells function more effectively while protecting them from damage by potentially harmful molecules, like free radicals. Third, vitamin C is a very important a region of the skin's defense system. It's actively transported to the skin, wherever it will act as antioxidant and facilitate strengthen the skin's barriers. Studies have additionally shown that taking vitamin C could shorten wound healing time. Low vitamin C levels are connected to poor health outcomes. For example, those that have respiratory illness tend to have lower vitamin C levels, and vitamin C supplements have shown to shorten the recovery time. Vitamin C could boost immunity by serving to white blood cells operate more effectively, strengthening your skin's defense system, and serving to wounds heal quicker. Prevents the cold. Whereas vitamin C seems to reduce the severity of colds and recovery time by 8% in adults and 14% in children, it does not prevent them reduces cancer risk. A few of studies have connected vitamin C intake to a lower risk of many cancers. However, most studies have found that vitamin C does not have an effect on the danger of developing cancer. Protects against eye diseases. Wow. Vitamin C has been connected to reduced risks of eye diseases like cataracts and age-related degeneration. May treat lead toxicity. Though folks with lead toxicity seem to possess low vitamin C levels, there is not any robust proof from human studies that show vitamin C will treat lead toxicity. Although vitamin C has several tested edges, it isn't been shown to prevent the cold, reduce cancer risk, shield against eye diseases, or treat lead toxicity. Vitamin C is also a sustenance that has to be obtained from the diet or supplements. 
it has been connected to many spectacular health edges, like boosting antioxidant levels, lowering blood pressure, protective against gout attacks, increasing iron absorption, boosting immunity and reducing heart disease and dementia risk. Overall, vitamin C supplements are a superb and easy way to boost your vitamin C intake if you struggle to urge enough from your diet. I have done full playlist on all the immune system, vitamins and minerals and how much is required on daily basis etc, so do check out those videos. If you are like this video please do like, share, comment and subscribe this channel for more interesting videos. Thank you. Or vitamin C wow. protects other biologic molecules from oxidative damage which, if not limited, may lead to tissue damage and initiation of acute and chronic diseases. How much vitamin C you need? The recommended daily intake of vitamin C for adults older than 18 years old is 90 mg for men and 75 mg for women. But how this translates into food consumption? An orange can give you about 70 mg of vitamin C, while one cup of orange juice will give you more than 90 mg which means that by drinking one cup of orange juice you have covered your daily needs. In general, fruits and vegetables are the best sources of vitamin C. Other rich sources of this vitamin include red and green bell peppers, kiwi fruit, broccoli, strawberries, grapefruit juice and many others. Nutritional requirements for vitamin C in children are much lower than that of adults Therefore, if children eat daily fruits and veggies, they should cover their daily requirements. However, people with high oxidative stress, such as smokers and people who are frequently exposed to radiation, may need higher doses of vitamin C in order to manage the high production of free radicals and reactive oxygen species within their bodies. For example, an extra intake of 35 mg per day is recommended for smokers which should be covered preferably from foods. The reason why we should prefer food-derived vitamin C instead of supplements is that within foods there are other molecules that increase the bioavailability of this vitamin and thus offering better results in our body. A common myth about vitamin C is that it may prevent the common cold. Studies have failed to prove a clinically significant protection of this vitamin against cold. However, an intake of 200 mg per day may benefit people with extremely high physical activity, such as marathon runners, skiers, and in some cases army troops. Although vitamin C may not prevent getting a cold, it may help with the duration of its symptoms, with an average benefit of one day less of illness. But remember, you should consume the recommended doses of vitamin C in a daily manner and not only when you are getting sick. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to express it with a thumbs up.